Hey there, just a quick tip on uh, using the uh, the Curve clone. Uh, so uh, there are a couple of uh, kind of interesting things about the Curve clone that I think are worth mentioning. So um, instead of typing a long response in the forums, I thought I would rec just uh, record a short video. So um, what I've got here, I've got just a small sphere inside of a scene with right now all there is is just a single curve. So the, the basic workflow here is that uh, you're in the item, the mesh item that has whatever mesh you want to duplicate. Or if you're in item mode, you could also uh, just make sure you have that item selected and then you can either uh, clone individual items or if you hold down alt or option, it will do instances. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to do um, polygons though, so it'll all stay inside the same mesh. So if you have uh, your mesh selected and the curve you want in the background, um, just go to the curve clone and don't you don't have to worry about any uh, initial setup here just click in the viewport and that will launch the curve okay and then you can go make any adjustments you want so say I only want 12 copies or no that's not enough I want 36 copies um, and then I want them to be evenly spaced so let's put by length etc etc now um, and there you go so you can make all of your changes and adjustments there um, the other thing that you can do here you can start it at the source which is going to be at the initial uh, point or the initial uh, polygons that you have uh, selected that you want to clone so if you turn that off it will go back and jump to the clone now the other thing here to note is that this isn't technically using the same curve that you had in the background it's using that that curve as a reference so uh, if you notice we still have uh, the blue uh, control points here so I could take and adjust this and make some fine tuning based off of uh, if I can grab these based off of there we go the uh, the actual existing curve here so there you go so I can make uh, adjustments and make this based off of the original curve but slightly different okay so great let's go ahead and undo that um, now a thing to note here is if I have a second curve visible um, and then I go ahead and launch the uh, the curve clone tool and click what it's going to do is it's going to look for the first uh, curve in in creation time so whatever one was created first it will attach it to that one and that's gonna uh, be based on either the mesh item so in this case that mesh item um, mesh 2 was created before mesh 3 um, or if I bring in another I've got another mesh here uh, let's go ahead and launch it again and this one actually has three separate curves in it so if again I launch the curve clone and click this is going to go to the first mesh item created and then it's going to go to the first curve in that mesh item so it's only going to attach to one curve um, as far as I know there is no way of actually making it um, adjustable so that you can do multiple curves or anything like that uh, what you would have to do then would be you know for example if I wanted to um, put this along all three of the curves in here let's go ahead and um, turn this down to something like 12 and do by length um, so if I wanted to create on all three of those curves let's go ahead and hide these other two curves um, what I would need to do then is create the first one go in here and in polygon mode select that first curve and get rid of it and then I could go back to here again launch the curve clone and click and it's going to go to the next one um, oops except haha <laughs> makes sense if I actually select just the polygons I want there we go um, and then again we'll go curve clone and click and you see it creates those all right and then I would have to go back to this mesh item select this guy and get rid of it and then we go back to here select the item we want to clone and then run the curve clone again and click so if I wanted to do multiple curves on one uh, on one clone you'd have to actually uh, do them independently and you'd have to delete as you go along so the idea here would be you'd probably want to take and duplicate uh, a mesh layer that has multiple curves in it uh, before doing this because you're going to need to go along and delete them or otherwise uh, you're not going to be able to get back to uh, to creating on each of the individual curves um, so really that that does it uh, it's uh, if one thing that will not work here is if let's go ahead and uh, let me just clean up here get rid of that so if I've got this here and let's see I've got this curve right here now if if I want to uh, you know run the clone on that on that curve um, all I do is if I click here and I go and try to select the curve here in the item list then then that's actually going to just deselect and it's going to drop my tool 
so you can see it's it's not actually running the the clone anymore but you have to have the item selected and then your curve visible in the background as the background mesh and then as soon as you click in the viewport it should uh, fire off the clone and then from there you can go on and make all the adjustments that you want hope this is helpful if you have any questions feel free to shoot me a question or an email thanks